are set for basketball, and we are ready inside the Watsco Center in Coral Gables tonight. It'll be the Syracuse Orange in possession of the basketball. First, they will be uh, in the blocked out pink tops and bottoms. Miami trimmed in pink the homestanding white tops and bottoms this evening. An early bucket for Syracuse. A pretty look down low in the first one of the night. She got cut off by Williams. And a floater is good. Count the bucket and a foul. Just a nice move to the basket. You know, you, you kind of really give her credit. She's averaging 13, over 13 points a game. Woolley's got three. Wilson with a couple. Wood with a couple. And there's a three on the way, and it's good. There's the first offensive rebound of the night. Here's DeAsia Fair. She'll pull the trigger. She can't connect. It was off to the right. Here comes the Miami Hurricanes in transition. Williams over to Robert. Back-to-back -back opportunities there for Georgia Woolley. She could not connect. Miami turns it over in transition. Here comes Woolley. Again, that's a bit of an easier look. Yeah, you definitely don't want to get down by 17 or 12 and go into the half and try to exert all of your energy to come back. But we know this is what... February going into March, and we know what Miami is capable of going into the tournament. The Asia Fair's got two points here in the first quarter. Miami has made the point of emphasis to not let her score. Think we're gonna get a dunk? Spearman. Whoa, that rolled off the back of the rim. She thought about it though, didn't she? Graduate and a five foot eight guard out of Rockledge, Florida. Transfer from Auburn. Here is Cheyenne Day Wilson. She finds a wide open Latasha Lattimore down low. Well, that's going to be up to Cheyenne Day Wilson. She right. creates for herself. She likes this sweet spot, and she's going a little too deep, and then turn around and shoot it. And, but Thank you. as you see, she can definitely create for herself if she wants to. See if she can work on Georgia Wool as she gets a screen. She pulls it back out. Shot clock is at six, still working. Left hand still working with the left hand. Pulls up and connects. Boy, that's nasty. Just call her own number. Lachey well, Dwyer kind of got tangled up down low. Lost her footing. Now back in transition. Syracuse, the bucket is good for Elena Reich. One thing about Miami, they, they've become a very poised team when they've been down. They've continued to try and play their game and continue to build momentum. Very inspiring story from Elena Rice. She is what they call her X Factor. Syracuse looking to build upon their lead. What a tough shot. Wow. What a tough shot. Old Aker was right there. She bodied up. She walled up, had her hands up, still found a way. There's Old Aker again down low. She's that got another home. bucket. She's got Miami's last six points. That was a terrific shot, though. Alyssa Latham was working down low on Old Aker on that last possession down the floor for Syracuse. Look at the way Syracuse moves the basketball. They just create wide open opportunities. And Miami right now is just sprinting everywhere they can. The Syracuse lead is nine. You can make it 11. Almost went directly into the hands of Elena Rice. Cheyenne Day Wilson for three. That's a bomb on the way and she buried it. That's the Cheyenne Day Wilson. And now Spearman has lost her shoe. This is a five on four. Woolley down low, and the bucket is good. That is 1,000 career points for Elena Rice. And a hearty congratulations to Elena Rice, who just collected her sixth point of the night at number 1,000. And now Patrick down low, and Spearman missed again. Hand off to Woolley, and it's good. They're going to be hard pressed to win this one tonight. They got to get something going in a hurry. And Syracuse says, I don't know about that. Elena Rice, she's got 16 now tonight. 7 of 13 from the floor. Came into the game averaging 13 points a game. There's a three, and it's good. The lead is 11. That is exactly where we started in the second half. Turnover. Williams goes up, gets it to go in. And now the deficit is nine. A little bit uh, of effort we haven't seen all night long. I mean, on the defensive now and the offensive side of things as Lattimore gets a block with two seconds left. Miami will probably be leading, but they are know that this is an emergency situation, and they are playing as such. 
Here's Delia Williams. She's got a lot of room towards the basket. That is up and in off the glass. That's about as easy as it gets. Now the lead is seven. Syracuse can't get one to fall. They're 0 for their last five, one for their last 10. Fair up top. Woolley's been on fire tonight. Buries a three. Look at her dribble around. And they don't want to foul her either. Right back to her for three. A dagger. Buried it. There are lungs. Deasia Ferret has ran around for 25 seconds. She, uh, they win over a good Miami team on their home court where they've been very good this year. Spearman up and in. Lead at 10. There's a three on the way, wide open. It's good for Fair. Syracuse runs away with a victory in Miami. They beat the Canes 71-60.